Good morning children. This video is for anyone working in the pyramid group. Please, before we start today's learning, please do the starter, which is divided numbers by two, three, five, and 10. So today we're gonna to be looking at drawing pictograms again, but this time we're gonna be looking at you help using the two times table, the five times table, and the 10 times table to help us. So we'll take the first question. A vet wants to find out how many animals she treated in a week. She collects some information. The first part she's done, she's collected her information in a tally chart. So we've got, there's four different types of pets, dog, cat, rabbit, and snake, and the number of people treated, number of pets treated, sorry. It says here, complete the pictogram. Now, before we start adding it into our pictogram, what I suggest we, we, we you should do is actually work out the total of the amount of pets treated for each pet. So first of all, we go with dog, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So we just put 40 there. Cat, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So it's counting up in fives. 5, 10, 15, 15. Now, if we can remember why we're counting up in fives, it's because each one of these is worth five. The gate is worth five. And then we've got one lot of five there, so there was five snakes. Now, we're going down to our pictogram. The dog has already been done for us, and so has the snake. So we need to add in the information for cat and rabbit. Now, before we start, we're going to have, it says here, is that this is our key. And it says that each square is equal to five pets. So we need to draw the, the amount of boxes that would make, that would show 35 cats have been treated. Now, before we start, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do the five times table. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And I'm going to stop there because that's the number amount of cats are retreated so we count how many that that is that was telling us how many boxes we need to draw one two three four five six seven so i need to draw seven boxes in cat one two three four five six seven so that's the cat done now we're going to look at rabbit there was 15 rabbits treated. One, two, three. So that means we have to draw three boxes for rabbit. And that's our pictogram drawn. Now, if you don't have a printer at home, I should have said this before, you can just draw out the table in your book and you can do it from there. You don't need to worry about printing this resource out. We'll have another go at doing this next one which is a little bit different to what we've just done. Complete the missing information. So we've got our, our table here, which is using tally charts to represent how many number of children prefer these four fruits as their favorite. And if we look at our key, the square in our pictogram is gonna be equal to 10 children. So we've got, what we'll do first is we'll count these up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten so we've got ten gates but so we're going to count them up in fives remember each one is worth five five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty forty five fifty so we've got fifty there how many apples five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five grapes five ten fifteen And pair five and ten. I'm also going to write our ten times table out because this is going to help us to identify how many squares we need for each fruit to show in our pictogram. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. We're only going to go up to 50 because 50 is the highest number. So we'll do the bananas first. 50, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. We need to draw five squares for banana. 
One, two, three, four, five. Our next number for Apple is 35s. 10, so we've got 10, 20, 30, 40. As you can see, we've got a problem here that 35 isn't there. Now, as pointed out earlier here, a whole square is equal to 10 children. But if we were to say that here, whole square equals 10 children. To represent five, what we will do is draw half of a square. And this will represent, on our picture one, we can do this because you can represent half of half the number that is a, of a whole picture by just drawing half the picture. So if we've got 10, 20, 30, that's three whole squares. So we'll put these in now. One, two, three. Now we said that's 30 and we need to get to 35. So we need to add five. We're gonna draw half a square which is basically a rectangle. We're gonna now look at grapes. And again, as we can see, we've got a number here that ends in five. So we're gonna to have to use the same technique that we just did with apple. So we've got 10 of our 15. So we can draw one whole square. And then for the five that is remaining, we must draw half a square, which is gonna be a rectangle like that. And then last but not least, we've got pair. 10 children chose pair. That's a number that is ending in zero, so it's a multiple of 10. We only need to draw one square. So that's your learning for today, children. So please now go to your Tashi and answer the questions. Best of luck.